Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So we did a video um, that will be coming up a little bit later and probably today, um, kind of doing a recap and a timeline series that we wanted to talk about. But then we saw this and we're like, hey, okay, uh, this feels like we need to just make a quick 10-minute video just to cover this because something feels really, really fishy. And it feels, uh, uh, to me, this is art of war all over it. This is a diversion. This is a faint, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it really happened. We'll see. But what are we talking about? Ten dead, including Wagner boss, Yegevny Prigozhin, in a plane crash in Russia. This is the guy that the media said was going to overthrow Putin. So this person's saying, what do you know about the, the JV crime family? Well, you know, this really hits me as weird. I had another video lined up and it was going to be a long one with a million news articles because there's so much going on. And I thought, let's do a recap time timeline wise just to tell people where we we feel that we're are at because we, we're really getting <laughs> we're right there. We're right there with the big events uh, that will be rolling out shortly as if all these things we haven't been seeing every day are not big yes they are big but it's going to go to a different level as you see multiple sources talking about this his business jet some say was shot down by russian air force air defenses hmm some say yeah putin remembered he held a grudge and that's that yeah i don't i don't buy it I, I mean, I really don't buy it. Yes, dear. Well, I mean, I'm I'm with you with with the uh, with on on you know on the fence with it all. But you do have to ask: Is Putin capable, and would he do such a thing? Well, he would do whatever served his interests. That's with any of these leaders. Anything that they're allowed to do, you know, from the leadership that's higher up as this was showing the plane coming out of, the, out of the air and falling to the ground. So you had seven passengers, three crew. Now, curiously enough, I, I mean, there's so many curious things. I was looking at this today, and, and this was going to be a highlight of the other video uh, that we held off on making, maybe for this reason. <laughs> this is when the little voice speaks to you and says, don't do this one, you know, do a different one. And then I come back to the mail, and here you go. He is here. This is him. He's in Africa. He appeared armed in Africa. Impossible to tell where he is. Perhaps Niger, maybe Burkina Faso, Mali, Central African Republic. Could be any of them. But this person's guessing he's in Niger. He says that Africans are freer. He's looking to recruit. No doubt many people will heed his call. Ma Wagner has massive popularity, especially in West Africa. People want to fight for their country and their likely good paying jobs. Yeah, well, again, there are those that when they're in desperate scenario, they'll do anything uh, to feed themselves and their families. And so, you know, even when it comes to taking up arms against people you don't know, and, you, you know, again, we understand the art of deception, but, but this came out. And it makes you feel, okay, wait a minute, he's in Africa. So he's there recruiting. He's probably going to take part in the war that's going to be breaking out uh, between, you know, NATO, uh, the NATO side and the BRICS side. Again, whether this is a proxy war, it, it doesn't seem like it could stay a proxy war. It, it, it would actually be a direct confrontation. But anyway... Here he is. Okay, well, that makes sense. He's over there, you know, and, and they're going to utilize Wagner over there for that war. And then his airplane's going down. Hmm, really interesting. By the way, overnight, a new Yahoo YouGov poll was released. It showed JB46 opening up a six-point lead over 45. You know, neither one is loved by everybody. But when you look at the shape of the country now, it, every day it's progressively worse. It really boggles the mind. Well, actually, it doesn't. It's just who can believe the numbers is the bottom line. How could you believe any of these numbers? 
So there is a second uh, business jet that was owned by Prigozhin, and that landed safely in Moscow. Now, he, he is known to mix up manifest l lists to conceal his whereabouts because he, he's somebody that certainly would be targeted for assassination. So did he really go down with the plane, or was this him really coming back to Moscow or near Moscow? Or is he still over in Africa? Or oh, wait a minute. No, last time before Africa, we saw him. He was in Belarus. He was going to lead Wagner into Poland, probably, or Poland and Lithuania with Belarus. Where is he? That's this. This is so the art of war. This is exactly what Sun Tzu was writing about. Nobody knows where he is or if he's alive. That tells me there's big moves shortly right ahead. I think so, too. Yeah, I, I, I would expect seeing all this. This makes me feel like, OK, well, we last saw him in Africa and now we see uh, he probably is over in Belarus and it probably is going to go uh, live over in Belarus and Poland and and Lithuania. So, you know, unconfirmed. This is so textbook art of war. It really is. It really is. So I wanted to show that. Meanwhile, the Border Patrol admits it's responsible for opening the floodgates in the Arizona border wall. Actually, the wall is is welded open. It's welded open. What? Yes, they welded it open. This is another thing that tells me we are really close to kickoff, guys. You know, it's it's like they got the marching band coming off the sidelines now because the fireworks are about to begin. And then you have this ominous drill, 3,200 fishing boats. Now, these fishing boats do have military capability. And there's actually, uh, some sources say, 750 to 1 million of them that have been outfitted with military capability. And these we see set in sail for the Tai Taiwan Strait. And China is is definitely showing that it may be moving on Taiwan sooner than labor, later. 15,000 cyber attacks detected per second in Taiwan. And uh, also, there are sources that say that China is, is prepared to, to start battling uh, NATO and the U.S. within a month. So... It, you know, there are more than one uh, source out there that is echoing that concerns. And, you know, that ties in exactly to what our our guide and friend there, Alois Ermiler, had seen so many years back. Um, and again, timelines do change, especially the little details can change. But he did say it was right at that time when we were going from summer to fall uh, that he saw uh, a sudden, you know, the war breakout, basically. China launched sudden and swift large-scale military exercises around Taiwan again this weekend. They surround the island from all directions, omni omnidirectional encirclement. Now, what he said, too, was that when Russia really starts rolling and they roll into uh, Poland, and they roll right through Poland, and, and they go through a lot of these other countries on their way uh, clear across to France. That's when the dragon, is what he said, attacks the U.S. Now, if what the guides gave us uh, back in December is correct, then the war would be on U.S. soil uh, come sometime early summer next year, perhaps June. So we, we shall see, guys, and we go into a lot more detail on that other video, which we will be trying to upload uh, shortly. Indeed. So, you know, just a quick update, and uh, this to me feels, uh, when it comes to Prigozhin, it feels very, very deceptive, purposeful, and very well could be uh, some sort of go sign for some sort of other operation shortly. So stay prepared. We look forward to your comments. Thanks for your support over on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Couldn't do it without you guys. Remember, Patreon, you do get unique videos that only go up over there. And we can speak pretty clear. So far, so good. Namaste. Namaste.